Among those killed in action, a Maine native who was motivated to help others. Jeff Jones was 48 years old, and tonight his father sat down with Jim Keithley. He expressed an interest when he was very, very young to uh, join the Army. And so he did. Jeff Jones, who grew up in Bodenham and summered in Harpswell, had a short stint in the U.S. Army when he was in his 20s, but a knee injury forced him out. He traveled extensively overseas, meeting friends in Poland and other countries, and eventually joining the humanitarian efforts in Ukraine. He was a member of a volunteer medic team in 2022 and was severely injured when a block wall fell on him after an artillery round struck a building. That landed him in the hospital for five days with a concussion. His helmet is what saved him, according to the uh, doctors at the hospital. Jones returned to the U.S., but it wouldn't be long before he returned to the war zone, this time as a foreign fighter in the armed forces of Ukraine. He was insistent on, on serving in the Army. Um, he felt that that's where he could contribute the best. And on July 31st, eight days ago, tragedy struck again. Howard Jones received the call no father ever wants to get. His son had been hit by a mortar shell and was killed. Jeff wanted to have a purpose in his life. Uh, he uh, felt again that serving on the Ukraine army was the best way to accomplish that. He recognized the risk. He took the risk. He volunteered. And unfortunately, as a result, he was killed. But the family is very proud of him uh, to step forward. And uh, we're obviously going to miss him. The family is working with the U.S. Embassy so Jones's ashes can be returned to the States. And the family hopes to have a celebration of his life sometime next summer at the family cottage in Harpswell. I'm Jim Keithley for Maine's Total Coverage. Thinking of that family tonight.